Well, one of the biggest problems to solve living as a nomad is where can you safely and legally park? And one solution for that is to go to campgrounds. The problem with campgrounds is most of them cost and can be expensive if you go every day of the month. The average campground is probably around $30 per day. So that's $900 per month. So most people will look at that and say, well, if I'm going to spend $900 per month, I might as well be renting an apartment. And that's a fair point. So what I've learned in my four years on the road is one membership that allows you to cut that, exp cut that expense down to a very low level is having the Thousand Trails Camping Pass. For as little as $600 a year, which would pretty much equal $50 a month, you can get the basic camping pass. And that's the number one thing I would say that I've learned in the past year being part of the Thousand Trails uh, membership is for most people, it does not make financial sense or logistical sense to upgrade to a membership, whether it's a used membership or a new membership. The number one thing I would tell you is just get the basic camping pass. For those who don't understand the difference between a pass and a membership, the basic camping pass is $600 per year, okay? And that's, again, about $50 per month if you take 60 if you take 600 and divide it by 12, there's 12 months in a year, you get about $50 per month. And what happens is if, if you get anything above the camping pass and you go into what they call memberships, whether you buy a used membership, which I looked into, or if you buy a new membership from Thousand Trails, you're looking at anywhere between 3000 to $15,000, depending on if you get used, new, and what type. That's a one-time charge, that several thousand dollar charge for a membership, and you still have the five to $600 a year cost like you do on a camping pass. The camping pass is a one-time yearly fee, $600 per year, and you can cancel at any time. The membership, okay, is that several thousand dollars one-time fee, and then you still pay the five to six hundred dollars per year as like your dues. And so, if you have the camping pass, I want you to remember that you can go from Thousand Trails campground to campground every four days and not have to be out of the system. Okay, so a lot of people just look at if I only get the pass, I have to be out of the system for seven days. But if you go every four days, especially if you're living out of your car as a tent camper or if you have a small RV and you're willing to move, it's basically like having a membership. Just move every four days. Also, I would say that it does not benefit you with regards to the um, Encore parks. The Encore or Trails Collection are extra set of campgrounds or RV parks mainly that you can go to if you pay an extra $300 per year. And you still have to pay that extra $300 per year whether you have a camping pass or a camping membership. So if you're going to pay that extra $300 a year, you, you still can only stay 14 days and you have to be out of the system for seven days. You can't go from Encore to Encore even with a membership. You can't go every four days to Encore to Encore even with a membership. If you go one day in an Encore park, in a trails collection park, you have to be out for 14 days, or, or excuse me, you have to be out for seven days no matter what. So the membership doesn't have value. The only value I see a membership has is a longer reservation period. Like instead of booking 60 days in advance, you can book 90 or 120 days in advance. But in places like Florida in the winter, etc., that may help. But they also have sometimes high use restrictions, meaning you can only have a couple reservations at a time. And uh, look, at the end of the day, keep it simple. Just get the pass and pay seven days out of the month. Pay to go to a state park or pay to 
uh, go somewhere else or stealth camp. Why? Uh, because a membership for most people is a waste. A membership for most people will keep you tied to the Thousand Trails campground locations. I think the only time you benefit with a camping membership from Thousand Trails is if the Thousand Trails campgrounds are in the exact areas you want to be, okay? If you've already done a year with the camping pass and you know that you like the system, then upgrade, okay? But if you haven't done a year with the camping pass, if you haven't been out on the road for more than a year, don't go buying a membership, okay? Just keep the basic pass. And like me, I did a year and I didn't renew it. And if I want to go back in, I can go back in and get the pass or buy a membership, but I would just probably get the pass. And then, you know, you get another discount for joining as a first time joiner or whatever. So what I would tell you is keep it simple, especially when it comes to thousand trails, just get the camping pass. Okay. And, uh, what you'll find is you'll still be able to cost effective, uh, to be cost effective with your, uh, campground fees and you'll still be living below your means and you won't be obligated to anything and you're, you're, your places that you travel won't be dictated by where there are thousand trails campgrounds because if you buy a membership, you feel, you know that you have to stay there a certain amount of time for that membership to pay off. And so you feel obligated to it. And that's the opposite of the nomadic life. So the thousand trails whole system is a blessing because again, it makes it cost effective to live on the road full time especially for those with an RV, but even for us living, those of us living out of a vehicle as a tent camper, it's a blessing. And remember, you go every four days, you never have to be out of the system. And, um, but I think this, just the pass is enough and see, do a year and then cancel it if you don't like it. Um, and you're just better off. You don't have to worry about selling your membership when you're done or, you know, wasting money. And so the safe and legal place to park is something that you have to consider before you become a nomad. And considering the thousand trails is a, is a good option. But I think again, just with the camping pass, not with the membership, do it for a year. And hopefully my video, uh, give you some insight as someone who has experience in the past year, I've used a thousand trails. I've traveled up and down the East coast. Check out my playlist thousand trails playlist. I did videos of campgrounds in, um, Virginia in South Carolina in Florida and in New Jersey. And, um, I've also lived on a road full time for four years and you can do it with or without the thousand trails. The thousand trails is just one extra resource to help supplement some of the places to park, but you want to be mindful of not being obligated to something because that's the opposite of the nomadic life. Okay. So hopefully my videos help you in some way. And if they do, click the thumbs up, uh, click the membership button, click the blue join button. If you'd like to be a member, support the channel, get on limited access to all my live feeds, which I do every day, God willing. Thank you for those who watch and I'll see you next one. Peace.